Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a flow on Clavio. With Clavio, you can set up an automated sequence that can be activated by setting up a specific trigger. This is what is known as flow. Flows can be built to send timely communications to recipients, or they can simply apply certain actions, like updating a specific field on a profile. Flows allow you to trigger an email or series of emails based on when someone joins a list, is added to a segment, or takes any other action, such as making a purchase or abandoning a cart. Any data syncing to your Clavio account can be used to trigger and target automated email flows. Now let us walk you through creating a flow on Clavio. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Log into your Clavio account at www.clavio.com. Once you're in, click the flows section on the left side. This is where you should see all of the flows that are available to use. To get started, click the Create Flow button on the top right. You can select a flow from Clavio's flow library. You can also filter them out by checking the boxes on the left. For this tutorial, we'll be starting from scratch, so click the Create from Scratch. We will be creating a Shopify Abandoned Cart US flow. So name your flow, select the tags, and click the Create Flow button. The first thing that we need to do is to select a trigger. A flow's trigger is what sets the automated series in motion. Since this is for an abandoned cart, then we'll select Metric then look for the checkout started. You can select a trigger value if you want to set a specific amount before this flow can be triggered. You can also filter the flow. For my example, I will trigger this flow for my US customers. You can always explore other filters and play around with it. Once you're all set, click the Done button. The next thing that needs to be done is to add timing. Just drag the time delay on the left to your flow on the right. After you have dragged it, set the time delay located on your left. Then, click the Save button. Next is to create the first email that you'll be sending. Drag the email action to your flow on the right. Name the title of your email then click the Configure Content button to edit the email that you'll be sending. The next page is where you'll be creating the content of the email. We won't go to specifics on how to create your email. You can just view our tutorial on the link below. Just click Done once you've finished creating your email. Set the Send status. Draft is the default status for a new email and is the status you should use while you're still configuring your content and adjusting settings. When an email is in draft, nobody will get queued up or receive the email. When an email is in manual, it is active in your flow but no emails will trigger automatically and send anytime. You will need to manually review and send all scheduled emails. A live email is active in your flow and is sending automatically. So just click the None button once you're all set. The next two steps is to add another time delay and an email action. So just do the same thing that we did earlier in adding a time delay and a second email. You can add as many actions as you want. Once you're all set, 
just click the save button on the top right. Your new flow that you just created will be added to your flow list. Since we set all the emails to live, the sending of the emails is active once triggered. You can always click the flow and start editing from there. So that, ladies and gents, are the steps on how to create a flow on Clavio. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.digital and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!